What's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome to some Otter CTF. This competition went on just last week, and it showcased some pretty cool memory forensics challenges. So I want to showcase some of them to kind of get your feet with, with, with volatility, if you haven't seen it before, and uh, hopefully we'll get into some cool stuff. Looks like this, these challenges are kind of out of order, just how CTFD wanted to put them in, but whatever. We'll start with number one, what the password, <laughs> for 100 points. You got a sample of Rick's PC's memory. Can you get his user password and flag format? is in CTF. There's a download link here, which you can go ahead and download. Um, it is, I think, 500 megs, so it's a little bit, it's, it's pretty hefty. Uh, it's a 7-zip file, so you can extract it with like 7-z-e and then the otter ctf.7z file name. Uh, I do have it downloaded already. It's just a virtual memory file. Um, I believe that's, yeah, okay, data, whatever, cool. Uh, next up, once that's downloaded and you've got it available, you are going to want the tool Volatility. So if you don't already have it downloaded, I know I think it's somewhere in the Ubuntu repositories. Let's add git to that. <laughs> Great. Uh, I know it's somewhere in the vault, uh, the Ubuntu repositories, but I think it's always best to go from the, the, the simple git uh, page. So what I've done is actually I, I normally put my software in opt, um, and I actually already have it in here, so let's just kind of clear that out. rm-rf is always like the scariest thing for me to type. I just get super worried, you know, going to totally destroy my computer here. So if you don't have git, you can sudo apt install git, but you are going to want to git clone this. Uh, and once you have volatility downloaded and everything, the setup.py file is what you want to work with. So Python setup.py, uh, you can just give it an argument install, and then you can just sudo that. So it'll go ahead and create everything for you. Once you're done, you should see a vol.py or the vol volatility Python script in your path. It looks like that's all done. So now if I type in vol and then tab tab autocomplete, I have vol.py. Um, I had to go ahead and install di storm 3. So if you get a bunch of errors that's like missing di storm 3 or whatever, you can, I think, sudo, I should just be pip install di storm 3. And then I had to use tac tac user to specify I just want it for my account. So, all right, now let's go back to it. CTF, otter, CTF, forensics. Great. Now let's run vol tilde. .py. And if you haven't used volatility before, it's interesting because you need to kind of understand the profile or the specific kind of image that you're working with. So yeah, you can say, I want to work with this file, tack f otter ctf or whatever file you want to work with, but you need to give it a, uh, a function or kind of a thing to do. So if you haven't seen what those things are, you can go to volatility. I don't know if functions is the right word for it. Maybe it is. Volatility git, how about, I'll just use volatility git functions, command reference, okay, that's fine, <laughs> there we go, all the things that we can do with volatility, so image identification is the first thing that you need to do, right, you need to actually kind of tell volatility, this is the kind of thing that I'm looking at, this is the kind of memory file, memory dump that I'm looking at, so the way you could do that is specifying, yeah, tack f will specify the file for me, but the process, or the command that I want to run, uh, is just this following following syntax with a space. So image info will search in the database as to what this potentially could be. And then once you've kind of determined one, you can normally just take the first bet as, okay, I'll, I'll trust that, or at least I'll see if it'll work with tac tac profile equals whatever it suggests for us. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's use tac tac, I'm sorry, no, we need to run image info on it first. And then once it determines the profile for us, then we can say, that's the profile that I want. Takes a little bit of time, but at the end, we should be greeted that, hey, the uh, file that we're working with, what is suggested for us is actually, I had to pause the video so that the, <laughs> the timing would work out well. That's suggesting Windows 7 Service Pack 1 64-bit. Cool. Let's try that. Let's use profile with this, and... We need to tell it something to do now that we've just passed in the profile as kind of an argument. So let's go back to this command reference and see what we can really do. So there's a lot of really cool things, right, that volatility can do in this memory dump. We can list processes, uh, see the commands that were run, get the open files, uh, console commands, etc. 
uh, even look at specific processes or dump them, just grab the executable, etc. Um, but this challenge is asking us to determine a user password. So what we may as well do is just in the command reference, let's control F for password. And this brings us to LSA dump, or to dump LSA secrets from the registry, use the LSA dump command. This exposes information such as the default password, or systems with auto login enabled, RDP public key and credentials used by DP API. So all we need to do is now that we've specified the profile, we know, we know the actual memory file that we're working with, we'll just give it LSA dump as the command to run. So let's see if we get any luck with that. Let's try LSA dump. Takes a bit of time, but once it carves through all that memory, looks like we've got some results here. We can see the default password, whatever we're bleeding out of memory here, and it looks like Morty is really an otter. <laughs> so I am going to kind of take the, the cue and the signal with that. That is more than likely the flag, or at least the password that we're looking for. So let's just type that out without those really, I don't know what I was thinking, there, really an otter. Now let's copy that, and let's go ahead and submit it for that points. Oh, Morty is really an otter. Is really an otter. Mm, I want to say that that's just because the competition is over. It's not letting me submit flags. But uh, hopefully you still have gone through the process, right, and understand what volatility is doing and how that's all working. Um, so, yes, the flag is there, but maybe the fact that we can't submit it is not important. Uh, so really just getting the practice in with and learning volatility with some of the, the functions and commands and doing interesting stuff is where the magic is at. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. $1 a month or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $1 or more. Oh, I don't know where my mind's going. $5 or more on Patreon will give you a uh, early access to all the content that I release on YouTube before it goes live. So if I have a lot of videos backed up and kind of pre-recorded, ready for YouTube to gradually release them, you can have them right when it's hot, right when it's ready, it's just $5 a month on Patreon. Uh, and I'm grateful for your support. Anything that you're willing to give, I'm just so, so thankful for your donations. Thank you so much. Uh, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, link in the description. It's a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. And special shout-out to Sinister Matrix, Void Update, and K Venom uh, for really stepping up to stepping up to the plate and being the moderators there while I, while I am away. So, thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.